Hello and welcome back to the Kieran Carlin Football Channel. I'm your boy Kieran Carlin. We're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers before the 11th of August, before the start of the Premier League season. We're 1.4 away, 1.5 away. Let's get it done and hit subscribe. Today, we're going to be going through and finishing off the best and worst kits from the Premier League teams. And this time, it's the best third kits from every single Premier League club. Oh boy! So we're starting off with Tottenham Hotspur once again. And I've gone for the 2022-23 one. Now I, you, you will be looking at your TV right now, gobsmacked halfway through your scran, being like... This is not what you were expecting. But I've gone for it because I don't know what it is. But I like the blue... I think the combination of the blues again. I did think about the the one maybe before, just with the collar. I did think about that one, but I was like, you know what? No, I like this one, and I'm gonna stick to my guns, my big massive guns, which are just hiding under. It's just an oversized sweatshirt. It, it, in reality, these guns are massive, mate. I think this is solid. I don't know why. I think it works. AIA decided like, oh, oh, we we won't force you to make it red. We'll let you have it white. But not on your home kit, only on your third kit. I think this will age well and I think it's a fun one to wear. West Ham United up next and I just want to, I forgot to preface it at the beginning. I've discounted or tried to discount, I may have made a mistake from time to time but I don't think I have. I've tried to discount any kit that was an away kit and then became a third kit the next season. Okay, pure fur kits only. No, no, not getting the sloppy seconds from the away kit section. We're going just the third kit, okay? West Ham United. I've gone for the 2020-21. Now, it seems pretty easy, but West Ham's badge is bad. So the fact that they've pretty much gotten rid of the badge by blacking it out and just having the 125 years, the irons, the hammers in gold, along with the Betway and the Embraer in gold. It's pretty simple. Bosh, I like it. Is it, you know, the best in the world? Maybe not, but I, I think this is it's a pretty nice kit. And if you're a West Ham fan, I bet you love this kit. Easy choice for this one. Next up, Wolverhampton Wanderers. They're early in the segment. Did I find a good one? Ah, yeah, this was a struggle. Jesus Christ, I picked this. 2019-20 Mexican edition now they they flopped to portugal because it was like oh we we buy lots of portugal players let's do portugal this was when raul jimenez was absolutely banging the goals in pre uh bonk on the noggin you know i think mexico colors are cooler than portuguese colors i like portuguese colors but i just think mexico colors are cooler but this is still not good the man bet x is horrible just a really, I've mentioned it before, but it is a honking sponsor. And then, you know, maybe if they could have put the badge in like maybe a red or just a white. So it all blends in. But they didn't. They decided to, to have it look like this. Well, it's just terrible, isn't it? Fucking walls. Burnley Football Club. Now they've gone for the 1993-94. I said they've when it's me. I like this. I really like this. This is like quartered almost but across rather than just in the body i like the cool little like patterns that taper on the sleeves and the collar the logo blends in pretty well it's clean it's clean there's a subtle pattern in the green i think it's perfect clean i think it's nice and oh my god i witnessed burnley's current away kit for this season earlier on twitter and i'm going to roast the living shit out of that i'm not showing you a picture right now you've got to wait you've got to wait until the big review but my word oh my it's awful awful this one is nice though so well done burnley crystal palace their best third kit is the 1990 91 look at that little subtle pattern which will glimmer absolutely glimmer in the south london sunshine there's no <laughs> the sun doesn't shine on south london what am i saying fly virgin once again fantastic sponsor you big virgin walking about uh, i just think it's pretty clean pretty clean inoffensive and i think you could wear this now and be buzzing what would be odd though uh the idea of when would you wear this the home kit's gonna be blue and red you can't play a red team in the home kit and you can't play a red team in this kit so when when would you when why 
Were they doing a cash grab in the early 90s? I'm not sure they were. This just feels silly. Forrester up next, and I've gone for the 9193 green number. Now, I believe this is an Umbra one. This is actually the score... Well, not score draw. This is uh, the, the Copper remake, but it was the best picture of it because this is gorgeous. We need more green kits in the Premier League, especially for Forrest. They're, they're called Forrest, for God's sake. Collar, good. The pattern... Good. The the oh the this green. Good. The sponsor in white to stick out. Good. Follow by a little bit of white on the on the collar trim. Good. The forest badge in uh, forest green. Good. Really gorgeous. Just a really good kit. Well done. Sheffield United. The Skimitar boys. Oh. Okay. 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 Nice little nice little white. Shirt with a little bit of red and black trim on it. I don't think you can play, and I think this is a nice, clean, effective third kit which people would adore. And I adored it as well. Okay, that's why it says lover on it. FC Bournemouth up next. He's heading it backwards, but is it a winner or is it an own goal? Ah. Uh. Yeah, I recall this being quite tough to, to, to pick. Uh, this is all right, this one, to be fair. You know, you got the cross sash. I think the energy consulting really damages it. And feeler. You could get away with a feeler, but on the sleeves as well, it makes me... Mm, no, it's too much feeler. Why did you do that? Why this, That should actually be banned. I know Puma do it as well. It should be banned to be able to have your logo also on the sleeves. You know, you, you should be allowed taping, but just to have the logo again, but massive on the sleeves. I'm not okay with that. That's too much. Uh, but it's, it's quite nice, to be honest. I'm not going to be roasting these. These are going to be the good kits. But um, some of them just aren't. <laughs> it's, I would wear this if I was a Bournemouth fan. Brentford up next and their chosen third kit that I've decided is the best. It's, oh, this was difficult, this one. This was really difficult. This is the only one. Okay, and I'm not even a massive fan, but it's clean, at least. You know, bit of gold and navy. It's, di it's difficult to go wrong with that. Um, bit of stripage, subtle stripage. Honestly, they have been... When... when how old are Brentford? Is that 1889? 1889, and they haven't had a single good bloody away kit, or a single good... To be fair, they haven't had a good home kit, away kit, or third kit. I guess this is the best one they've ever had. Jesus Christ. Some ideas need to... Oh, we'd like to save the environment, mate. Well, please, save my eyes first, right? I love the environment, but I also like my own eyeballs. Just just please get someone to design something good. Jesus Christ, they've been starved, mate. This is nice, though. This is nice, I like this. Brighton and Hove Albion. Ooh, this is an Inter Milan Brighton shirt, really. I quite like the juxtaposition of the really brutal red, which just comes out of nowhere on it. I really, I quite appreciate that. I, I do find it sort of odd that a team which is blue and white has a blue and black away. When's this for? You know what I mean? If you play a white team, I guess. But then I imagine you'd be wearing whatever away kit. But I digress. The third kit's just going to be for fun. Uh, I think this is an interesting one. Uh, Admiral, a classic sponsor. The sleeves are long. They're like three quarter length sleeves. But ultimately, if you're a Brighton fan, you could buy this one and you'd be the cool kid on the block. So... I like it. Everton up next. Nothing but the best. Yes, I like it. It's pretty much a polo shirt. But, you know, you don't often get a full midriff stripe that goes along the sleeves as well. I like it. I like the one-to-one -one sponsor. I like that it's white and sort of inverted colours from the home kit. That's always very, very good by me. Um, and I think it's just a nice, clean kit. That you could wear now and you'd look pretty cool. Fulham up next. Can their third kit make their terrible badge look good? Oh my god. No, it can't. Fulham have never had, never ever had a good third kit. Honestly, it stinks. They barely had a good away kit. It's, oh, oh my god. I actually feel really bad for them because this is what I've picked. I picked this because I like. The dark navy with the brutal orange. I just really... This is the orange that walls should be. This, like, burn, ooh, orange. Not the, not the cat shit orange they are. They should be this orange. But ultimately, wolves, honestly, they just haven't had a good 
third kit. And I literally had this is an this is an Adidas template from that year, which loads loads of bloody teams had. Marathon bet terrible, but here it is. I had to pick something, unfortunately. Manchester City up next, and my favourite favourite ever third kit. There's three options, but I've gone for the 2009 to 20 level one pure away kit. I am so frustrated that since this point, we haven't, in the past 12 years, we haven't gone back to quite clearly a fantastic template, a fantastic thing to do. Honestly, please give us the white t-shirt with the red and black sash. Honestly, look how, and Etty had been like, yeah, mate, you can, you can put our sponsor Teeny Tunny under the badge to make the kit look even better. Thank you, boys. Fantastic. But I would like a little a little shout out to the 2020-21 Paisley kit. It initially looked like Amoeba, but by the end of it, I was all in. All right. Loved it. Thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And also a very underrated one, the 2012-13 one. Oh, look at that. You got the blue, you got the light blue accents on all the important emblems and sponsor. I, think, I believe we only wore in the Champions League, maybe. And I, I just great. That's really, really severely underrated. I would love to find that now and get it because it's fantastic. Arsenal up next and my pick for their best ever third kit is the 2021-2022. They had a stinker, obviously, for ages under Puma. So ultimately, it was going to be a recent one, a new one. And I think this, I've seen Chris MD in this one. I've seen Calyx in this one. Oh, it's fantastic. It's so good. Adidas knocked out the park with this one they had a really good few seasons and now a couple wobbles here and there but this is fantastic and i think timeless i think this will look equally as gorgeous if not more so in 20 years really some really good stuff here so i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna kiss it aston villa up next i apologize i have not downloaded your new badge but you know suck your mum I've gone for the 2000-2001 shirt. I think this was a difficult one to find, but I'd like the badge in this one because they've got the added stripes in it. They should have always kept that. Like, that, why do you... Oh, it ended up so bad, didn't it? It really did. That's way nicer. A little Deodora number, which is rare. Uh, I think I might just be fond of ntl as a sponsor because i had ntl before it got bought by virgin media i like the colors in here i like this it's mainly white and then you've got a little bit of claret a little bit of blue a little bit of navy i, I don't i think i think it, it would I, I would wear this if this had a city badge on it i'd wear this I, I like this a bit like a training top but who cares luton town next let's see what the hatters are, are they called the hatters they must be called the hatters hey yeah yeah we're not, i think i've picked the same sort of trio for their best kits for the home and away as well as their third. Clearly, this is nice, you know, cool little geometric geometric pattern. Uh, you can't really see the sponsor, but who gives a shit? It's in white, no one cares. Badge could do a little bit of work, not that prominent, but apart from that, gorgeous. Really, some really solid stuff. Fair play, Luton. Just a shame about almost every kit you've had since then. Newcastle United up next, and I've gone for 2019-20. Now, you might be shocked, you might be terrified, Okay, I know this will be a controversial one, but they've really not had good third kits. They really haven't. They had a really honking grey one. I've gone for this because I might be a Wars hater, but clearly I love orange can be such a good colour. It can be such a good colour. This colour, this burnt, beautiful orange, I love it. I fucking I love it. And I think it works wonderfully on this kit. I like the little black neckline. Everything else is all like uh, monotone and blacked out. And then you've got, admittedly, I think it might just be like the pattern of the roof of St. James's Park. But, you know, I can look past that. I don't really like stadiums being incorporated into kits. Uh, we've done it this season at City. But the orange, I'm just really, I'm feeling the orange and black. I really am. I'm, oh, yes. Beautiful, Newcastle. Well done. Oh, God, this... Bastard club. What have I picked? I've picked the current one. Yeah, turns out it turns out United really didn't have good kits ever. It, for a club who won and had a massive period of success in recent times, well, not recent anymore, mate. It's, it's been quite a while now. 
they really just have really been starved of any good kits. They're just crap, to be honest. They're probably only deemed good by people because they won stuff in them, but they're not good. They really aren't. And I'm, I'm trying to be unbiased here. Their recent ones have been good, like this one. This will easily, I still maintain, it looks like a Liverpool kit. This, by far, this is it's a, it's a lovely kit. It really is a gorgeous kit. Like, there's no two ways about it. Simple, clean, effective. It even makes Team Viewer look all right, which it doesn't, but it's close enough. The little bastard devil, you know, to prove that they're an evil, evil club. It is what it is. Fair play. Chelsea Football Club. And I've gone for... Ooh, 2019-20. Now, I usually assume Chelsea third kits would be like a luminous colour. Chelsea, to me, are like the luminous away kit club, the original luminous away kit club, because when they got massive in 2005, because before that, they really, they really weren't anything. Before their takeover, they had less history and trophies and stuff than we did. So, you know, remember that, Rory Jennings, before you go mouthing off and talk sport again, my friend. I will, I will find you a five aside and I will I will give you a like kicking in the shins. I've completely lost where I was. Uh, yeah, they were the original like or oh, up and coming. We do like luminous kits to like you know sell them abroad sort of club. But this one, this one initially I didn't like how long the collar went, but it sort of grew on me and I think this is a, it's a good color scheme. Black, white, orange, gorgeous. Once again, the burnt orange. Just use burnt orange, please, 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 wolves. Liverpool, you'll never walk alone and you won't be in this third kit because I imagine it's gorgeous. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, yeah, I struggled. Liverpool didn't really have a good third kit. Struggled throughout the Warrior and New Balance times and it's sort of a lot of experimentation. So I actually had to go for this one, which is not good. So it's got the horrible outside stitching, right? Which we've already established on some Fulham kits previously is rank. But I tried to look past that and I really liked white Adidas stripes in red, Adidas in red, the Liverpool badge in the original colours and the original badge, and then the Carlsberg in the green. It's almost like a, a like a Wales away kit. And I think Wales have a really good colour scheme. I think a sort of a dark turquoise green with red and white is a fantastic combination. I think it I think it can look wonderful. So that's what I've had to go for for Liverpool. But you know, the game's a game. This has been CCFC. That has been my decision on all the third kits, the best third kits throughout the Premier League club team's history. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll try to get to 20,000 subscribers, supporters, before the beginning of the Premier League season on the 11th, before Manchester City kickoff against Vincent Company's Burnley. I've been your boy, Kieran, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.